And breaking first at four, authorities in the Queen City have now issued an arrest warrant for the man they say shot and killed Cats bus driver Ethan Rivera in a road rage incident. 21-year-old Darian Drew Tavichith of Charlotte is wanted for that February 11th murder. Thank you for joining us for Queen City News at 4, everybody. I'm Ryan Kruger. And I'm Annie Satowski. This warrant comes hours after Katz Transit workers demanded changes to their dangerous and unsafe conditions for a second day after Rivera's murder. Queen City News reporter Casey Jones joins us live from the Katz Transit Center in Uptown. So, Casey, tell us what would operators like to see happen in this case? For starters, they would like to see more police presence or possibly even a substation here at the transit center. You know, hundreds of people are coming in and out of this area every day, and the drivers today came together to lay out things that they say would not only make the bus safer for operators, but also the riders too. A couple dozen people came together right down the street at the government center to lay out some of their concerns. Uh, we did ask cats for some numbers, a spokesperson person says about 14 cats employees were assaulted in 2021. That is up from 2020 when there were 11 employees assaulted. But there's a discrepancy here because drivers say that they are physically or verbally assaulted every day while doing their job. And they say they can no longer stay silent after their colleague was shot and killed on the job. Now, this is the second time drivers come, have come together to speak about those safety procedures and protocols since Ethan Rivera was killed. Here are their requests. More security on the buses and at the transit center, bulletproof partitions around the driver area, working phones on all buses. Workers say the majority of riders are not problems, but there are some bad apples that often go unchecked. But there's that one or that two and the banned and the mentally ill and the sick and the homeless that we were never meant to deal with. And so just having police presence right now changes the whole game. And so that, that's all I want to say. We are not on strike. We are just terrified and we want to serve you. We want to continue to serve you. So the workers want to be clear that right now this is not a protest and there is no strike plan that might impact public transportation. But they are hoping that by coming together, laying out their requests and their concerns, there will be action soon. So what is Kat saying about all of this? A spokesperson sent us a statement after denying a request for an interview, and they said that they are aware of the demonstrations. They're taking the safety of employees and passengers seriously, and they said that they are working with the labor union union and operators to address some of their concerns. Uh, they, the workers also want to have a sit down with the CAT CEO, John Lewis. There's no timeline on when that might happen. In the meantime, like I said, operators say there should be no, uh, there, there should be no change to public transportation. Coming up at five, I will introduce you to a driver who says that his bus was shot up just days before Ethan Rivera was killed. Live in Uptown, Casey Jones, Queen City News. Yeah, that's scary to think about for that driver. All right, thank you, Casey. We'll see you at 5.